Well, looks like live is not going to work here in Mittawanga. Cell phone reception really does blow. But I haven't done this in a while, mostly because there's been not too much to show. And that's mostly because plumbers. My plumbers suck. They were hired on a single qualification that they were the only ones who actually showed up. And that's what I got. Someone who showed up that couple of days and then nothing. But we shall see. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have a, have a look around and kind of mark this date of what June 19th. I don't think they've been here since June 6th, I think was the last time they were here. Maybe 10th. Something like that. Um, I keep getting keep getting the run around. I have ever excuse from somebody got in an accident to they bid too many jobs to I don't know. It took him over a month just to get me a bid on a single combination unit. And then when he gave it to me it was like twice what it should have been. I don't know. Yeah. Frustrating, but All right, here we go. Um, a few more walls probably since the last time I took a video. The big thing is that these windows have all been removed. I'm having a hard time finding a bathroom window in stock anywhere. The kind that has like the glaze on it. Walls are coming along. Electricians would have some place to start. But it would literally, since everything's open, it would take them little to no time to run this electrical. It's uh, especially some good quality union chaps um, getting shit done. Uh, Burnsworth came out, I think it was last Thursday if I remember right. And this used to run um, in front of this here what used to be a window and we're going to turn it into a sliding sliding glass door going out to a patio again this here where Joe's attempt to try and keep moving he put this board down and uh you know it uh it um yeah we had to cut a hole there to make waste because nobody with their any kind of normal stature is going to fit down underneath this floor let alone do it and solder some pipe but the plumbing that they did do looks absolutely amazing what they did do was so impressive i i just couldn't wait to see how it all came out and i'm still waiting to see how it all comes out seems though that all that really needs ran at this point is supply lines and I'm dangerously close to trying to uh, do that thing on my own um, yeah. walls are all framed out here but again there's some piping that needs to go I mean the supply lines I guess could come across the top or along the back here but there's some you know, there's some uh, hot water uh, boiler piping that used to go on underneath there. And uh, Joe's attempt to keep moving um, has just uh, just made it that much harder. Well, there's where the water comes in. I'm assuming that... Uh, It's a matter of making it connect to all these different places. <sighs> Here's where we're going to hang up our... Oh, that's still just a brace. Here's the mechanical room. We're supposedly going to put a tankless heater here. I'm guessing that we're going to reinforce this outer wall. It looks... 
Well, it looks like it has some meat more of it than it does other places. Our electrical currently goes there from that box. So, not that hard of a job. But that's the electricians can handle. I have no clue what Dad was doing there. Maybe that was a control. I don't know. Yeah. Being stopped because somebody said they would do something and then stopped is uh, freaking annoying. Uh, I don't know. I got some stuff to take down outside. <sighs> I got days off coming up. We'll use them. So, yeah, that's exactly where I'm at. I uh, hired a plumbing organization called JBJ. Really nice guys. Um, clearly know what the hell they're doing, at least the plumber does. The plumber had mentioned that, uh, you know, the owner doesn't plumb anymore. He just directs the jobs. He had quit someplace bigger because he just got tired of all the runaround and moved to this guy. He was telling me how He's quite happy, you know, basically sticking to a job. And yet, it seems like he's being ran around as well. I, uh, yeah, I don't care. I'm just kind of tired of people telling me they're going to do stuff. I mean, before it was just estimates. People would say they were going to come out and give me an estimate and then not come out. Or they'd come out and look and... Tell you they're going to give you an estimate, but you could tell as they were running away from the place. Um, Joe Reynolds, that dude, he's done nothing but solid work around here. It's crazy how well he's put this place together, and it feels like it isn't going to fall down anymore. But Again, this whole thing is just was supposed to be a, uh, just one portion of the project. We still got the back room. And the uh, and uh, the upstairs to finish. But before we can do any of that, all the electrical, all the plumbing, all the other work goes on down here. Um, yeah. We and Joe Mike have talked about cleaning this place up. Now Scott maybe rehang those cabinets after we get everything painted and flooring laid down but and we still gotta clean up the uh so that grate's still there but we eventually gotta clean up all these grates around here i think he stuck those maybe in the shed and uh paint them and have them back on the walls that don't exist because we don't want to put them up until the plumbers are done all right, I'm just, it seems that my complaints are par for the course here, at least here in Ohio, that contractors suck. Most of them can't keep their word. It wasn't how I was, not the kind of contractor I was raised with. All right.